we, we wanted to carry out some community mapping to, to find out what people um, with learning disabilities wanted in, in Inverclyde. I arranged a quiz night um, in order for people to, to access a social event. So from that, we, we found out what people wanted um, through a kind of consultation quiz. So people were given the opportunities to put post-it notes up um, throughout, the, the, throughout the night, um, just detailing what it is they felt that was either missing or what they'd like to see appear uh, in their community. So one of the things that, that, that came up quite, quite a lot throughout the night um, was there was a serious lack of opportunities for people to play organised football um, on a regular basis in Inverclyde. Like, there was nowhere currently offering that um, for people and there was a real demand for it um, from the information that we gathered in. Um, we, we took the information away and we worked with some other organisations uh, and approached a few other people um, so that we could uh, organise taster sessions for people. Um, to see if this, this actually was something that, that they wanted to do on a regular basis. Um, so I got in contact with a local football club that were providing opportunities to kids with disabilities. So I thought that might be a good place to start. Um, there were Greenock's only, or Inverclyde's only, pan-disability club. Uh, so I thought they were the, the go-to people and thankfully I was right. Uh, so we arranged a, a taster session in Learn Disability Week and just invited along as many people uh, as, uh, as we could. I think we got 12 originally at the start um, to come along to a taster session in a local community centre. And from that, we then established the regular, um, the regular sessions at Notre Dame High School in Greenock on a Wednesday night um, so that people could play football on a regular basis um, and build those connections uh, in their communities while doing something that they enjoy. United was involved, uh, established in 2012. Uh, we wanted to have a true community club. Uh, we are the Pan Disability Club for Inverclyde. And Michael from the advisory group asked us if we could start up a team for adults. Uh, we went and spoke to Michael. Michael was very enthusiastic about it. So we took everyone on board and July 2015 started the adults disability section and it's such a short space of time we went from Inverclyde to the National League you know what I mean it's 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 been great within within a few short months you know what I mean we've got we've got a, a team from Greenock in the National League which is fantastic you know what I mean absolutely first class you know what I mean uh, and this, it really has grown from strength to strength we do try and have uh, different things with the the, the, the club as we, we, we try and involve the guys in just different bits and pieces of the community. There's, there's Wiggy, I just spoke to Wiggy over there, Robert Wiggum, and, and, and he, was, he was pointing to his badge, and he's pointing to my badge, and I says, yeah, that's right, Wiggy, we're the part of the same club. We are Great United, you know what I mean, and, that, and that's what it's all about, you know what I mean? It's just putting a strip on and putting a badge on, you know what I mean, and, and get going, you know what I mean? Right. We're not we're not employed by them, we're not social workers, we're not we're not careers advisors. We're just their mates. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right. Very good. Sure it is. When is it? On a Monday you start doing what Matthew shows what you do. Uh, start kicking your feet, don't you? He just loves coming to the football. I'm sure you do. Uh, Fair makes sure year. He loves it. And a Wednesday. Yes, we take you down, don't we? Yes, and I drop them off, and I don't know what you do without this because he really loves it. So you do. Uh huh. Looks forward to it from a Wednesday is to the following Wednesday, and it's great exercise and everything for him. Hey. Hi, uh, my my name is Mark uh, Robertson. I live in Greenock. I play for Greenock United. Uh, what, 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 you've got a particular role in the football team. What, yeah, what position yeah. do you play? I, I play goalkeeper. I just, I just, I just, I just like coming and playing for them on a Wednesday night and getting to see all the people. Look, you made some pals? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. So, so what's been good about that? Have you gone anywhere else, somewhere else? Yeah, we went to... We, we went to uh, thingy. We went to Forrester's high, high School in Edinburgh. In, in Edinburgh. And we, we, it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I've met, I've met a few people that are, well, that I know already, but a few faces I don't. And you were telling me earlier on that you, you got somebody else involved in it? Mm -hmm. from, it? from there. He was in school with me and um, he was in, he's in college with me. And did you just say to him? That Aye, I just said to him that there's a team starting. And then he just said, um, <laughs> eh, well, can you put my name down for it? What? Nothing. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> we were a good coach and we are a good team. We were part of our team, we were part of our family. And that's it. I think it's, it's, it's generally a, a success story Michael's brought to, to the area. It really is. You know what I mean? We, say we, we started off and we only had maybe five or six players, but 20 coming regular now. Yeah, and then we've got people wanting to come. Do you know what I mean? Which is great. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And, and they're turning up, rain, hail or shine, on a Wednesday night yeah. for, for training, which is great. Do you know what I mean? Would you like about it, Matthew? Would you like about it? Playing, don't you? Yes, he loves playing the football. And you tell your brothers, your brother and your sisters and that, don't you, about it? And your granny and your mum. <coughs> your sister, uh huh. Aye. And your gran. And your brother. And your aunties and uncles. Uh huh. And he just loves it. You I can't even say any more than that. I'm so happy. Uh huh. To make you happy, Matthew. Uh -huh. So the, the great thing uh, about Greenwood United is uh, it's an opportunity that's, that's, that's hopefully here to say it's a sustainable opportunity for people um, within uh, the community of Amberclyde. It's open to absolutely anybody uh, with a learning disability that wants to come and play football uh, and enjoy it, which is uh, the, the reason why we started it. If you listen to people and then go and develop um, the opportunities, they're, they're more likely to last. Um, but it's, 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 a, it's now a sustainable opportunity and as I said it's, it's something that we hope is going to be there for years to come. The other good thing about it now is as well, we are still involved in, but just in a different capacity because it, the football club are running things on a weekly basis now. We don't have to be involved as heavily in that way because we, we're not a footballing organisation. Um, the things that I do now include maybe helping the club apply for funding for different things or trying to find sponsorship. We recently agreed a deal with the, the Blue Lagoon uh, fish and ship chain uh, and they agreed to, to fund uh, uh, to get our new strips, or to get the team to get their new strips for, for the coming season, um, which was a really um, big help because uh, obviously that's it cost quite a lot of money um, to buy a, a set of football strips, so that took again a bit of pressure off the club. Um, in the last year as well, we've also helped the club apply for funding so that they could purchase their own minibus um, to make the logistics of getting to different tournaments in Edinburgh and Glasgow a bit easier for people, uh, and also to keep the cost down as well. And they were managed to go and purchase their own uh, their own team bus as well. That it's not only the adult learning disability team that benefits from that; it's the whole club. So whether it's the under 12s or under 13s, or it's the, it's, uh, uh, the, the guys in the adult learning disability team, the whole club's getting the benefit of it. Uh, and also the club are, are, are letting other community uh, opportunities use it, use the bus if they need it if they're going somewhere different. Or, so it's not just the club that's benefiting; it's really becoming um, something that the whole community can use. Greenock United are also starting to be recognised by other governing bodies as well. The Scottish Youth Football Association um, recognised one of the coaches uh, involved with the Adult Learning Disability Team and they actually received an award for the Volunteer of the Year um, for the West Region. So again, I think that speaks for itself when uh, the coaches, not just the players, are, are starting to be recognised for their achievements and the great work that they're doing in the community. Um, the club have also been nominated for awards locally um, within sport. Um, we, the advisor, us at the advisory group, wanted to make sure that the club were getting the recognition um, that they deserved. So we nominated the club for uh, the, the work that, that they've done in helping develop the, the adult learning disability team, and they're actually finalists in the Amberclyde Community Awards, which will be happening in November. So that's another good thing um, that 
they have, they have been recognised for, for the efforts they, they, they put in and for, for how great um, an opportunity it is for people in the community. Uh, I think the other good thing about this opportunity as well is, is helping break down barriers um, because people with learning disabilities are, are integrating within their communities and um, they're training alongside other mainstream um, football teams for want of a better expression. Um, but it's breaking down that barrier of, of, of people with learning disabilities just go to day centres and everything's separate. Um, the, the guys in the team just want to play football just like everybody else and they, they, have that, they deserve that opportunity um, just like everybody else to play organised competitive football.